Cycling's long been a sport where the drama on the road is matched by the drama of the scenery. And it's in this tradition that the race director, Vladimir Miholovic, has created the Tour of Croatia. Untouched nature, good roads, diversity, uh, from north to south, from east to west. You can really enjoy in every day in a very different way. The tour has begun to draw some of the world's biggest teams, including Trek, Segafredo and Tinkoff. The reason for their interest, stages designed by someone with a personal understanding of the peloton. I was a pro rider for 17 years. I was first creation in the new generation of pro riders. I ride at uh, Tengio d'Italia in a row. Uh, one Tour de France and two Vuelta España. In the best period of my career, I look at uh, around the Europe, the destination where I could live better and train better, but uh, I haven't found anything better than uh, where I live, and it is the uh, city of Rijeka. I designed the race uh, at the base of my experience, so like a rider uh, who, who rides at Tangier d'Italia, because when our race uh, finish, there is still 13 days before Giro d'Italia, so you, you have enough time to recover, you have enough time to make analysis of your form and to do one or two micro cycles of, of training for improvement or just for maintaining condition. My intention is to, to, to establish this race, uh, Tour of Croatia, like last preparation race for Giro d'Italia. The organizer uh made long stages, which is good for us uh, preparing the Giro. Good roads, uh, nice weather. Um, Trentino definitely was too hard, and uh, the same Romandy. Well, it's a good race, very good race. Uh, nice road, and uh, you can uh, a lot of kilometers for the legs, uh, and it's a very good preparation for the Giro. Two easier stages for uh just rolling on and uh, get the rhythm of the race. Third day, we, we created something a little bit more dynamic that uh, uh, you get some stimulations of your body in anaerobic, but not too long. Fourth day of the race uh, must be hard, no? must be hard that uh, you can judge yourself if you are prepared good, if you are recovering well from uh, stages before. And fifth day, we created a uh, team time trial because, uh, like organizer, I, I'm watching some things different now, so I don't want that uh, general classification be decided on the first day of the race. No? So we holding everything focus, everybody hold focus until the last day of the race. We choose these uh, this, this, uh, dates, uh, even if Flesh Wallon and uh, Liege Baston Liege are the same, in the same week, Giro di Trentino is in the same week, Giro di Trentino I use it like last preparation race for, for Giro d'Italia, but maybe it's a little bit too short. When we saw the first two stages and doing 500 k's in two days, we were like, oh. But no, we have to say it's really well organized, beautiful scenery, beautiful country and nice hotels. The transfers could be a bit shorter. Uh, we spoke to the organizer already about it. And, and no, but really we enjoy the time here and we have a lot of fun. Our intention is to, to improve and uh, to find the way and it will be much easier than this year to, to find the way that uh, transfer between the stages are not more than 100, 150 kilometers. The race saw two wins for sprinter Giacomo Nizzolo and one for Riccardo Zoidl, who are both expected to line up at the Giro for Trek Segafredo. With another stage going to 26-time Tour de France stage winner Mark Cavendish, the race has demonstrated its pedigree as a Grand Tour springboard. But for lower division teams, the race is emerging as a target European stage race. I think kind of a race like this offers a lot. The team's obviously going to the Giro, it's really good preparation for them, but it's also good preparation for our guys. The, the stage lengths, the 200k stages, and that gives you a real good solid foundation coming off the back of it. I would say we targeted this race though in, in its own rights. We weren't kind of using it to prepare for something else. We, we kind of came here and wanted to, to give our best performance, really. Already for 2017, we, we wanted to apply for horse category, uh, for Tour of Croatia, just to get the uh, possibility to to increase quota of World Tour 
uh, teams on our start list. It's not cliche. No? We are really working uh, 365 days and uh, 14, 16, day, 16 hours a day. I enjoy it because I, I saw lots of people uh, on, the, on the roads and uh, very emotional uh, passing through, through the center of Rijeka, my hometown. In the Croatian capital of Zagreb, Matija Fazina was pronounced the overall winner, taking to the podium in his hometown, a fitting finish to a race looking to begin a new heritage of cycling in the country. It's been a very aggressive race. I've always said if you can just avoid some very top names coming where they start to focus on them, uh, then you can have an extremely good bicycle race, and that's what we've got here. Bastina wins. It's a fairy tale, and it'll boost the sport here in no end.